called pollination paradises. Maybe you've noticed them when you're driving around. This uh, ODOT is planting them statewide to try to save our wildlife and save our taxpayer dollars at the same time. Homa Bash explains in this News 5 original. These pollinator paradises are part of a statewide effort by ODOT. 120 created right off our highways so far. By planting a combination of native grasses and wildflowers, the hope is to bring back monarch butterflies. The population has been declining over the last two decades by 90%. And habitats like this are helping. Last year, there was a 150% increase in the monarch population throughout the eastern United States. Not only does this help the bees and the butterflies and the other pollinators, but it also helps taxpayers. It costs roughly $400 an acre in seed and herbicides to create these. But Odon says they saved $2.2 million in mowing costs in just six months last year. A number that will continue to grow as they keep planting more pollination habitats. Which, in the long term, is, is a huge savings for us because, again, our folks spend thousands of hours out mowing grass. That costs money. And this is an area where we don't have to do that. And as pretty as all of this will be once it blooms, here's a little reminder. It is against the law to pick flowers on state property. Reporting in Knox County, Homa Bash, News 5. Up next